Settled, but they are becoming such a craze these days, and in fact, so quickly, local schools aren't really sure what to do about them. NBC4's Vicki Vargas live in Laguna Hills right now with just how challenging a problem this is for administrators. Vicki. And challenging, Colleen, because this business is growing so rapidly. A year ago, about two dozen of these stores in Orange County. Today, over 200 of them, which means districts find themselves having to rewrite school policy. Deputy Brian Gunsully is searching cars at Laguna Hills High looking for contraband. On this one here in the center console, it looks like there might be an e-cig. He is looking for a battery-powered, vapor-emitting electronic cigarette. Sometimes he doesn't even have to look. He gets anonymous text messages that the devices have been spotted on campus. Can't be on campus at all. Okay. Yeah, prohibited from school, period. Saddleback Unified actually changed its policy to legally ban e-cigarettes. It is one of only a handful in Orange County to do so. This morning, Orange County health officials met with dozens of educators, informing them that if they want to legally confiscate e-cigarettes, they must amend their education code. In addition to tobacco products, electronic nicotine delivery devices, with or without nicotine, things that mimic tobacco use will be prohibited as well. Retailers say e-cigs are designed for adults trying to wean themselves off tobacco. Flavored oils from peanut butter to peach green tea may contain nicotine, which is why educators worry kids could start here and get hooked on smoking. Kids are always trying to see how far they can push the limits. Uh, what we do is what we can control by carding people and, and not catering to people that are underage. We're finding fewer cigarettes, but we're finding more e-cigs. And so for that reason, of the 28 school districts in Orange County, only about four or five actually have it on the books that these are not allowed on campuses. But you can expect those numbers will change as well. Live in Laguna Hills, I'm Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.